everyone. Still awake? Yes. Still awake? Yes. And for this afternoon, um, first day, I would say that I didn't really plan to be in a voice of youth this summer. I just planned that I will stay here in AUP and um, have my summer classes. But really, God knows better than I could. So he used people to invite me in, the voice of youth that was held in Imperial, just nearby. So what, I will not go on the details of the voice of youth that we had, but the uh, very unique, um, the unique thing about our BOI is that every member of the BOI team is a working student. Not, not every, some member of the BOI team are working student during that summer, last summer, and some are enrolled full-time students. So just imagine, every day um, we go back here to AUP, have our classes, have our work, then at around 6 p.m. we travel going back to Imperial. Sometimes we stay there at night so that in the morning we'll have our serenading and also the Cherubic's ministry. So what I have experienced that time is ano, really challenging. Kasi nga, just imagine, we'll end up at 10 p.m. 10 p.m., then travel back here to AUP, have our sleep at 11, then at morning, 7 p.m., we'll have our classes, then at afternoon again, we go back there. But really, the Lord sustains. And whatever the Lord started, He will really sustain. So, um, at the end of the BOI, I know my BOI team members was also blessed. It was a different experience. Actually, the church members there are really supportive, really supportive. So that really helps in the work that we have there. So at the end of our work, at the end of the BOI there, there are eight souls, nine souls that care about us. Praise the Lord. And there are two lessons that I have learned from that BOI. First is, um, as workers of God, we should not we should not be a respecter of people, um, even far or near. If God calls us to minister, let us willingly go. If God um, calls us to minister just for the seatmate that we have in our classroom. Maybe a friend or a roommate, if God calls us to minister, we should always willingly follow. And the one, another lesson is that um, if you really put God first above in whatever things that we do, He will make all things possible. He will sustain and He will, um, like what is written in Matthew 6.33? Yeah. Matthew 6.33. 33. The Lord will really um, sustain and He will give us more things that we can never imagine. Thank you so much. Uh, last one, I hope, because we have no more time. Last one, I hope, from the boys at the back row. You want to have your testimony? You want to share? Uh, sir, we do it. 